everybody. I'm Kira Garlic. And I'm Lily Hartenstein. And we're back with the fifth episode of The Elegy. This month is Caffeine Awareness Month. Were you aware? As high school students, it's pretty normal to see your peers drinking lots of caffeine. But how bad of a problem is it on campus? Let's find out. When people hear the word caffeine, they usually think of coffee. As a matter of fact, Kira, the United States is number one in the world in per ton consumption of coffee, according to healthresearchfunding.org. Mr. Burns, the head of the music department at Homestead, drinks a lot of caffeine, specifically coffee. I started drinking coffee in college to stay up late to study. Um, And then as I started teaching, you know, you, you have to be on first thing in the morning. I probably have two or three cups a day, and those cups are sometimes big, like 10 ounces. I think I could function, but I function better if I have had it, for mm-hmm. sure. I, it definitely helps me wake up and get going. I mean, I definitely am really slow and groggy without the caffeine. Mm-hmm. And the, the scariest thing is when you get the headache. You, you get a headache because you're like, it's withdrawal symptoms. I also interviewed a high school student who works at Starbucks. Let's hear from senior Joe Krause. In a single shot of espresso, you have 60 milligrams of caffeine, and tall anything really, uh, you get one shot of espresso, so that's 60 milligrams of caffeine. In a grande, you have two shots, in a venti, you also have two shots, and so you'll have 120 milligrams of caffeine. A normal coffee, like a venti coffee, is 240 milligrams of caffeine. Do you drink coffee yourself? I drink a lot. Of coffee. So would uh, like, you say like you have a coffee addiction? I wouldn't say it's an addiction. Uh, well, like if I don't have my coffee in the morning, I'm just like a sloth. Do you think high schoolers nowadays have like an addiction to caffeine? Not really high schoolers, because the more I talk to people, I'm like, do you drink coffee? And they're like, oh, every once in a while I'll have a cup of coffee if I'm like out with my friends and stuff, but not in the morning. But you know, I never talked to a high schooler who's like, yeah, I drink four cups of coffee a day and I'm you know, yeah. constantly wired out on yeah. coffee. Did you know that according to the National Council on Strength and Fitness, 90% of middle and high school students sampled in a report said that caffeine affected their sleep schedule. Let's hear from junior Riley Anderson about how caffeine affected him. So how much caffeine do you typically drink on average day? Right now it's about one to two, maybe three cups a week of okay. coffee. It used to be a lot higher about two to three cans of energy drinks a day. Why did you drink so much caffeine? Um, because I was swamped with work. It's an anxiety inducing and it's kind of bad if you do a lot of it. Now let's hear from junior Cassidy Chen. Cassidy says she drinks one to two cups every day of either coffee or tea. So why do you drink so much caffeine? Um, mostly just to stay awake to get work done. You get headaches if you don't drink coffee. Yeah, and they get pretty bad. I can't go for a certain amount of days without caffeine. Wow, it sounds like school stress is a lot of the reasons that p- students drink so much caffeine. I know that I, for one, survived chem honors last year by drinking black coffee with two black tea bags in it to stay awake all night and do my labs. What about you, Kira? I, for one, drink a lot of herbal teas, so if I even get, like, a hint of caffeine in my system, I go all out crazy. Thanks for listening. See you guys next time. This is The Elegy.